It's earnings season. Although stocks are having a tough year, not every sector is down. Energy is bucking the trend because of continued financial discipline. Even though oil and gas prices are the highest in years, EMP companies are staying focused on returning cash to shareholders rather than investing in new production. This isn't what the White House wants to see, but energy executives know that Democrats are fair weather friends, only interested in traditional energy because of the poor politics of drivers having to pay more at the pump. Just like their upstream customers, pipeline companies are maintaining discipline when it comes to spending. Pipeline protesters have in any case made it so hard to get new projects completed that they're another reason spending is down. Alan Armstrong, the CEO of Williams Companies, a big natural gas pipeline operator, said that making it harder to build new pipelines just increases the value of what's already there. Customers have fewer options because volumes are growing, but new pipelines are not getting built. As I said in a recent blog, if you see a pipeline protester, give them a hug. Offer to drive them to their next event. They're being more helpful than they give themselves credit for. Chenier, whose facilities export more than half the liquefied natural gas, or LNG, that we send abroad, had a blowout quarter. They beat consensus even by two-thirds. Sell-side firms generally have a buy rating on Chenier, whose ticker is conveniently LNG, just in case it's unclear what business they're in. And price targets were raised after their report. Chenier is one of the clear winners from Europe's pivot away from Russian natural gas. But there's also the opportunity for emerging economies, especially in Asia, to further increase their use of natural gas and reduce coal as a way to reduce CO2 emissions. America is the only big country that's really done that. If others follow, it could really help lower emissions and would also be good for US companies involved in natural gas. At SL Advisors, we invest in midstream energy infrastructure, that's pipelines, storage, and processing. We sit between the producers of oil and gas and the customers, which are often utilities, export terminals, or refineries. If you're interested in learning more about the energy sector and interest rates, then don't forget to subscribe and follow us on LinkedIn and Twitter. Our handles are in the description box shown. Most pipeline companies beat earnings expectations. Energy transfer beat by 13%, mostly due to strong results in their natural gas pipelines. In a sign that companies regard the outlook for natural gas exports as receiving a big boost from Russia's invasion of Ukraine, Energy Transfer said they're also moving ahead with an LNG export facility in Lake Charles, Louisiana. Other companies that beat earnings include Kinder Morgan, TC Energy, and Enterprise Products. Stocks are in a bear market, but you wouldn't know it in the U.S. energy sector. We manage investment products to profit from the outcomes I've discussed. To find out more about what we're thinking, sign up for our bi-weekly blog at sl-advisors.com. We always love to hear from you, so if you have any comments or blog ideas, please leave them down below. I'm Simon Lack.